If you're a Celtics fan watching us on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel and you don't know about Celtics Today by Chat Sports, make sure you subscribe because we are your off season hub for everything that's going on around your Boston Celtics, bringing you the latest news and rumors throughout NBA free agency. Everything that happens with the Celtics will keep you updated here on the channel. And also, we're going to continue to break down NBA draft prospects who could be available for the Celtics in the first round of the NBA draft. So hit that big red button down below or go to youtube.com slash Celtics TV. Welcome into NBA Now by Chat Sports. I am Chase Senior. Coming up on today's show, we're going to take a look at some replacements who could take over for Brad Stevens as the head coach of the Boston Celtics. We knew that this was going to be a pivotal offseason for this franchise. I'm just not sure we knew that these moves were going to be made, where Danny Ainge, the president of basketball operations, was going to retire, and Brad Stevens was going to step into a front office role and be the general manager of this franchise. Took a lot of people by surprise, but now Brad Stevens will go from head coach to leading the new head coaching search for the Boston Celtics. And he has his work cut out for him because this is going to be a very important offseason for the Celtics after they finish this season 500. But the good news is whoever takes over this post as head coach is going to be able to take over a team with talent and two superstars in Jason Tatum as well as Jalen Brown. So let's start to take a look at some of these candidates. Let's kick it off with Jason Kidd. According to Chris Haynes of Yahoo Sports, the Celtics are expected to consider Jason Kidd as a replacement for Brad Stevens. He's currently an assistant with the Los Angeles Lakers under Frank Vogel. He's been rumored to be in the mix for a lot of head coaching vacancies over the last couple of years, and he does have head coaching experience. Coach the Nets during the 2013 and 2014 season, as well as the Milwaukee Bucks from 2014 to 2018. You take a look at his resume in 2013-14 with Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett after that trade with the Celtics, went 44-38 and as a first-year head coach, 2014-15, goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. They finished the season 500, and from that point on, the Bucks were just okay. So you look at his record with the Bucks as a head coach, and it's not something to write home about, but a lot of superstar players do respect Jason Kidd. He is a Hall of Fame basketball player. Giannis Antetokounmpo has said that he enjoyed his time with Jason Kidd as head coach. So maybe he's a guy who could take over the Celtics and be able to handle the superstars, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, and be a viable replacement for Brad Stevens. So I want to ask you all this. Who do you want to be the Celtics' next head coach following Brad Stevens going to the front office for this organization. Give me some names in the comment section down below and let me know who you want to be the next Celtics head coach. Let's move forward with Sam Cassell. Sam Cassell, another guy who played in the league for a really long time like Jason Kidd, not quite the player that Kidd was, but he was very, very successful during his playing career. Won a title with the Celtics in his final playing season back in 2008, so has some familiarity with this franchise. He was an assistant under Doc Rivers after his playing career came to a close. He also followed Doc Rivers to the Los Angeles Clippers when Doc went there from Boston, and right now he is once again under Doc Rivers as an assistant coach in Philadelphia with the 76ers. His resume, 15 years across the NBA, a three-time NBA champion, two with the Houston Rockets, one, as I mentioned, with the Boston Celtics. He has point guard smarts, and when you look at former players who have been head coaches across the league, the common theme, a lot of them former point guards. And like Jason Kidd, a lot of players really have grown to admire Sam Cassell. I was listening to Jackie McMullen, Ryan Rossillo, Bill Simmons, all of those guys with Boston ties. They brought up Sam Cassell as a guy who they would like to take over for Brad Stevens. So do you think Sam Cassell would be a good head coach? Type one for yes, type two for no. Be sure to get your votes in in the comment section down below. We are an interactive YouTube channel here at Chat Sports, and we like to involve you in our shows. So do that right now and let us know if Sam Cassell would be a good head coach. How about Chauncey Billups? According to NBC Sports Chicago, Chauncey Billups is also expected to be a candidate to take over for Stevens. He's been interested over the last several years 
in head coach openings, more so general managing openings across the NBA. And right now, he's currently an assistant under Ty Lu with the Los Angeles Clippers. He's wanted to become a head coach for a little while, but the big knock on Chauncey Billups, he didn't have coaching experience. You can no longer hold that against him because he spent this past season with the Clippers, and I think he would be a tremendous head coach given his leadership, his swagger, his confidence, and ability to navigate a locker room. Lloyd Pierce is another name that starting to pick up some buzz. He was fired by the Atlanta Hawks this past year. Nate McMillan took over for him. Chris Haynes said that the Celtics could have interest in the former Atlanta Hawks head coach. The Hawks, though, have gone to new heights with Nate McMillan, but Pierce is widely res respected excuse me, across NBA league circles. So this is a name to keep an eye on, has head coaching experience, but the big question around Lloyd Pierce, why did the experiment, why did his tenure with the Atlanta Hawks not go well, and why are they playing so well now under Nate McMillan one win away from punching their ticket to the second round of the NBA playoffs. A little bit of a wild card name coming up next, Jawan Howard, currently the head coach of the Michigan Wolverines, coming off leading the Wolverines to the Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament. He was named the Associated Press Coach of the Year. Jeff Goodman, college and NBA basketball insider, didn't say that Jawan Howard, so to speak, is going to be a candidate for the Celtics. He just thinks that Boston should pursue him. Why is that? Longtime assistant under Eric Spolster, who I think is the best coach across the entire NBA. He was really Spolster's right-hand man from 2013 to 2019. And I think the work that Jawan Howard has done with Michigan in terms of player development and basically taking over for John Beeline and really just returning them back to a national power has been really, really impressive. Do you think, though, that Jawan Howard should leave his alma mater at Michigan, where he's in a comfortable spot right now, making good money, leading them to levels of success for the NBA level, where he was an assistant and obviously played forever after being with the Fab Five at Michigan? Type L for Jawan Howard. You should definitely leave and go to the Boston Celtics. Or type S if you think he should stay in that comfortable position with the Michigan Wolverines and continue to guide some of those youngsters and get them ready for the NBA level. For the best Celtics coverage all throughout the NBA offseason and during the NBA season, make sure you subscribe to Celtics Today by Chat Sports. During NBA free agency, everything that happens surrounding your Boston Celtics, we have you covered on Celtics Today. Everything that happens with the NBA draft leading up to it and after it, we will also cover that here at Chat Sports. So go to youtube.com slash Celtics TV or hit that big red button down below and help get us to 6,000 subscribers because Celtics Today is going to be your off-season hub for all of your Celtics news and rumors going on throughout what is going to be a very pivotal and important off-season for this franchise moving forward after these monster moves and this big shakeup that saw Danny Ainge retire and Brad Stevens go from head coach to the general manager role. Let's continue to break down these head coaching candidates. Becky Hammond. This is fascinating to me because many believe that at some point, maybe not this offseason or this upcoming season, she is going to at some point be the first woman head coach across the NBA. When Greg Popovich got thrown out of a game this past season, who stepped in for him? It was Becky Hammond. Greg Popovich, arguably one of the greatest coaches of all time, respects her so much. She is his right-hand woman, and she's been an assistant under Pop since 2014. So after her WNBA playing days, she has gotten such valuable coaching experience aside from Greg Popovich. And so many people across NBA league circles think that she is a wizard, she is brilliant, and she could take on the brave duties and the bold duties of becoming the first women head coach in the history of the NBA. I think this is inevitable that it might happen at some point. Does it happen with the Celtics? We will see, but she deserves to be on this list. Next up, Imi Udoka. He coached with the Philadelphia 76ers from 2019 to 2020. He was also a longtime assistant under Greg Popovich from 2012 to 2019. Right now, he is an assistant with the Brooklyn Nets next to Steve Nash, getting also valuable experience next to Mike D'Antoni, who we'll get to here in just a little bit. He has drawn some head coaching buzz, and he's looked at as a bright, brilliant up-and-comer across NBA league circles. So this is also a name to watch. He's in his early 40s, 
could he be the next head coach for the Boston Celtics? I think a theme that you've seen here is some of these young coaches getting these head coaching opportunities because they can gel with some of the players on that current roster. He would fit that profile in trying to maximize and bring the best out of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown as they continue to develop as superstars. Chris Mannix, who has some inside sources with the Celtics and has kind of had ties in the Boston area for a really long time, threw out some internal candidates and said that before Boston looks elsewhere to external candidates, they're going to interview some guys who they're familiar with. That includes Jerome Allen, who has head coaching experience with the University of Pennsylvania. He's been a longtime NBA assistant. Jay Laranega is a longtime assistant as well, a guy who's in his early 40s. He is the son of Jim Laranega, who is the current head coach of the Miami Hurricanes. And Scott Morrison could also be an internal candidate as well, who is going to land an interview. He actually predates Brad Stevens because he was with Boston before Brad Stevens took over as head coach several years ago. Some other long shot candidates. I don't know if Mike D'Antoni fits the category of long shot candidates, but you have to throw him in the mix. I don't know if his coaching style fits what fits with what Brad Stevens wants to do, especially with the current makeup of this roster with Tatum and Brown, but let's put him in the mix. Eric Spolstra is a very long shot candidate. I don't think he leaves the player development factory that is the Miami Heat and the comfortable situation that he's in with Pat Riley to bolt out of Miami where he's had a lot of success and has won multiple NBA championships to take over this gig. Same too can be said for Rick Carlisle, but he's been with the Mavericks forever, has one NBA title, but do they just side to part ways and a mutual standpoint we'll see and Kendrick Perkins some of you might be watching saying there's absolutely no way Kendrick Perkins before he was really becoming an excellent broadcaster and spitting the truth and just keeping it a buck wanted to become either an assistant coach at the NBA level or a head coach at the NBA level and this past December the Cleveland Cavaliers thought about bringing him in as an assistant coach, and of course, he is widely revered within that Boston Celtics franchise because he was on the championship team back in 2008, continues to stay close with a lot of members of that organization, and Kendrick Perkins could draw some head coaching buzz as well. Before we head out, make sure you're subscribed to Celtics Today for the best Celtics coverage here on YouTube. Either hit that big red button down below or go to youtube.com slash Celtics TV. Everything that happens with the Celtics throughout this pivotal offseason, we have you covered here at Chat Sports.